What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory Sunday episode where last time we got copper sheets being made and also removed our glorious biomass burners and added 8 coal generators giving us a max production of 600 megawatts which as you can see all of our machines all turned on will provide 415 megawatts giving us an extra 185 to play around with but we need to do something else which is to increase our power even more to 1800 megawatts and how we're going to do that is we're going to utilize the two more coal lines that we are not using and put them into this location which does mean we need to add some more water extractors as well and with the power of editing And there we go, we're producing 1,800 megawatts. So we've done a little bit of things here. If, if you notice, we kind of kept the same um, design as we did with uh, this first one. All the thing we've done is just gone away. If you look underneath the floor here, you can see that here's all my pipelines. They kind of, if I got room, uh, they're all going in nice and tidy. Uh, and then if we come out this way as well, we've also, you can, well, you can see that we've uh, colored the foundations. We've gone with the black color just to you know show that it is coal i'll have to paint this one back now actually um painted all my coal uh, generators all black uh, to go with obviously the input of black coal and then also our water extractors as well down here and um, we've kind of kept with a blue color as well and uh yeah we've got these nice and coming into the wall and it's all fine and dandy so now we are actually done with our coal plant we have a little bit of headroom now to play around with stuff and it does mean we can now double our production lines over at the starter factory but also before we leave if you remember last week i did mention you guys to post your call images your call plots in discord and this was created by key he's got a modern style kind of very artistic building very very clean as you can see here with the glass ceilings walkways on the side but look how compact this room is i absolutely love it the walkways using the complex clearance and also using the buffers to get the water around the facility very clean pipe work as well it's a very unique flower kind of shape coming out of there well i love the use of glass here and just like the angles of the pictures he took is absolutely brilliant and you can see it's reminding me of like halo like look at this it reminds me of something from a halo mission you know what i mean but key awesome work my dude and thank you so much for submitting your coal plants and also thank you for everybody else who submitted theirs as well they was absolutely outstanding some of the builds obviously there's a lot of experienced players and new players i went through them all i looked at them all the community was even looking at them all as well but back to the job at hand we're going to have a look at what we could do in the hub which i think we might go for towards steel uh, we can go for ve uh, vehic vehicular transport if we want to get some vehicles going uh, but I don't think we're going to be heading anywhere soon. Logistics Mark 3 is obviously going to need steel. We have hyper tubes, need steel. Um, you need reinforced plates. We could go for improved melee combat if we wanted to. Um, we could also get Mark 2 miners, but they need encased industrial beams. So I think, yeah, I think steel is going to be our go to. So let's go and grab some rotors. Yoink, yoink. Two stacks enough? Yoink. Get three stacks. Put you in there, you in there, you in there, and you in there. Oh. I'm missing 17 concrete. And voila. Send for steel. Bye, Eva. Okay. So now we've got steel unlocked, which if we look in production, we now have foundries available for us to make steel ingots, which does require coal and iron, which we do have, if I'm not mistaken, if we just head it this way, if my superior experience in the game, <laughs> uh, there should be a pure coal just here. Uh, where is it? Please be here. It's here somewhere. Yes, here it is. Here it is. This is a pure coal right here. 
And then I believe there's two normal calls around this area here, which would need to take a swim. There, right there, behind the three beans. Three. Yep, that's a normal, and that's a normal. Okay, Mr. Fluffy Hogs. This is not the time. There's too many of you. Okay, so I nearly died, but I also, when I was fighting them, I come across these two. I forgot there's two more normal nodes here. So there's actually four normal nodes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge these two, make it into a pure. Merge them two, make it into a pure. And we're actually going to bring uh, the pure over from there. So that's three pure coal. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be four. I think four. Four pure iron somewhere in in this area as well okay 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 this is it wait is it no this is three normal these are three normal nodes oh wait the two pures behind there okay so we'll grab the two pure from behind that rock and then we'll grab we'll merge two of these normals together go away fluffy go away so what i might do then is i might build my steel plant out here so we're going to need to remove some of these trees and then we need to make a little bit of a highway for our coal, which we'll, we'll probably bust over here. We'll grab all four of them coal over there, and then we'll pull in the uh, pure one. So I think I'm going to do that, and I think we... M I might use vehicles, maybe? But I think it's too early for vehicles right now, especially tractors. But yeah, let's clear some trees out, and then let's start laying some foundations. Okay, so I just had a thought. I was currently sorting out the... cutting down the trees and placing the foundations i thought you know what we've got an excess of stuff right now so let's just put like an awesome sink down because we've got smart plating just stacking up here which we do kind of need like 500 for for like phase two but that that can easily be done later on and we've also got in this container got, got plenty of frames as well so i'm just thinking we just put a storage container down here uh, just set this up real quick and just get some things unlocked in the awesome shop um, because, you know, why not? It saves the uh, items just sitting there. So let's just kind of just power this up and connect you up. And we're just going to throw all the smart plates in there because that's going to give us a hefty chunk of tickets. So if we put this on now, throw these in here. Now we're getting a lot of tickets, especially from the smart plating. So we should end up with quite a bit. I'm also going to throw the frames in there, but I'm not going to throw them all in because I do need them for the foundries. So I'm going to keep a couple on me now because I do need them for the, like I said, the foundries for the steel production. So if we just store, well, I'm going to store everything in there and keep them on me. And there we go. Now we've got 10 coupons already, and then we're just going to wait for, well, this big bad boy to consume all of these. And there we go. After all of that, we've managed to get 32 coupons. So if we head into the awesome shop now, we have a lot of things to buy. And the first thing I do want to get is the pillars. I think I do want to get most of these in here. I I really want the structural frame set. The only thing is it's going to cost steel and I, can't, I don't have steel yet. But we are going to be making it uh, because I do need it for my later builds. Um... I think the pillars beams are going to help out a lot with the structural design. So, yeah. Maybe we should have a look at... Obviously, we've got doors, inverts. These are all pretty cheap, to be honest. Uh, it just depends on what we're going to go. I do want to get convey holes. They're only one. Uh, wall mounts, I'm not really fussed about right now. Uh, pipeline wall attachments. Uh, wall power outlets, yes, 100%. Um, don't really need these as of yet as well. Uh, foundations, maybe I do go with some of these so we can start getting the designs of buildings. But they are a little bit pricey right now. Um, so, maybe I will get the double ramp pack, the inverted, and maybe the inverted corners. Yeah, let's get the inverted corners. Maybe the pipe. Wait, how much is this? 20 D2. Damn. I don't need lights as of right now. But let's get... You... 
You. Y you. And you. <gasps> oh my god, 32. Okay. Um. Yes. Purchased. We're doing it. Um. Yeah, let's just sink this stuff. Let's just grab a belt from here. And let's just... I like how I'm just bringing it this far. Can't you tell I don't really care about this, like, base here? Because it's like my, my starter base. This will be gone very soon. So, this whole thing, I guarantee by the end of this episode, or the start of next episode, this is totally different. So, back to the steel. Okay, so I, I need to unlock vehicles because I've kind of done something. I, I started building, and you know, as you know, I was meant to chop the trees down. I started wanting to start getting the laying the foundations down. So I started to do that, and I got a little carried away. So I was bouncing around with ideas, and I thought, because I tried multiple things. I was like, what do we do? What do we build down here? That's normally something I don't normally do. And I thought, you know what? We're going to use tractors. So I've made a two-lane highway. So we're going to have vehicles coming down here and vehicles coming up up here. And this is going to be a turnaround for a tractor to come in there to grab the coal from there. And then also this is going to be a U-turn. But then this means we could extend in the future. And that little building in the background, I say little, but it is kind of little. That is the start of the steel factory. So all it is really is just foundations and the ramped foundations. That's all it is. And I've kind of, I'm thinking about putting the uh, the vehicle um, hubs here. And then they can kind of come in here, turn left and leave and come back in a U-turn. And then come around this like small bend here. And I've created these by just using inverted ramps, which you can see here. So I've just got it as a new normal diagonal. And then just creating this and a corner to kind of create a bit more of a... A, a tidier corner instead of having it jagged so yeah but by the time I, well since i've been doing this i've been collecting tickets as well and i need a couple more tickets because i need barriers and i want the new uh i want some different foundations i want the asphalt because we want roads okay so i've actually got 25 coupons so let's print them out come here and let's get the industrial railing oh god i went in here again Industrial railings, modern railings, road barriers. Um, I'm going to get walkways as well. Let's get the industrial walkway. No. No, 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 no. I don't want them. I don't want the old ones. Uh, remove them. Let's get the new ones. Okay, so I got what I needed. and I wanted mainly the asphalt because now we have the customizer for materials. I've had to remove the patterns. I just couldn't afford them right now. So I'm just going to leave that doing its thing. But now I'm going to replace all of that road with the asphalt. And I'm going to get a lot of plates back from all of that, to be honest. Okay, so I'm just kind of figuring out a road design. And I kind of want to put some, like, barriers in the middle. So I think I'm going to keep this here. I'll just put this wall down here because it allows me to free roam these metal pillars around. And I kind of want to put these on the edge and bring this through the middle like this. And this is going to be the center column. I'm just going to bring this in as well. And then if we just remove this backboard. And then it kind of does this kind of design. So then we can just kind of like zoop this along the center. And the same with this. We can just kind of do this all the way along. But then we can also add like um, street lights. Uh, and if I wanted to, we could kind of like, uh, if we go for the middle, say for example here, we could put like you... In the middle there, and then in the middle there. And then bring this back and across. It then kind of creates highway lights. But we could take this to another level. And if we go into architecture, and because we've got the modern railings now, this allows us to move this up and down here. But if you get the end, and like you see this little uh, like line on this uh, pillar here. If we just get the end of the railing and just line it up with that line... It then fits perfectly on the others. So as you can see, it then snaps to that line and so on. And then we can put that in the middle to kind of create like a highway. And it's the same with the barrier as well. 
we can actually get the barrier and the barrier is the same length as one of the pillar uh, pillars as well so that's perfect there as you can see it lines up obviously this is just a little bit off because i didn't squeeze it up which is kind of making it overlap there this might take a while to do but i, I am going to get the customizer and i am going to get the materials and put asphalt down like this for the roads which i think is going to look pretty cool once we've got everything done and then we have a highway so i better crack on right because this could take a little bit and there it is the highway to the steel i've got to say this highway actually consumed a lot of time more than i expected to do we've got a nice little junction here the vehicle hubs are ready to go we're just waiting for the tractors I've also merged the two coal lines now. So we've got two being merged into one line and the other two being merged into another line. And that means we've got two being sent up to the vehicle hub. And as you can see at the base of the steel facility, that is still a work in progress. We have three individual lanes, which will be with three tractors. Two tractors are going to go into the four normal nodes and one tractor is going to the pure nodes. Once they have done their drop off or yeah, once they've dropped off their coals, they will then go through these doors, which will come inside here. They will then do a left and then exit through these gates to continue their journey back and their loop continues. Okay, so the next job we need to do is we need to get the fuel, uh, well, the coal that the tractor drops off to be sent back into the vehicle depot so the vehicles can get refueled because with update 5, the vehicles only take the coal now that they need for their said route. So if it's going, you know, if a, a, truck, a truck's going 800 meters, it's going to take more fuel than what it's, uh, a tractor needs that is only going 300 meters. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a splitter on the back side here like so and then bring a belt just down there and put you in uh, but we do want to put a mark 2 coming out and then we're going to put the new conveyor hole lift that we grabbed just into is that gonna be too close that might be too close time for science nope that's fine so that will work just like that. So let's do this to the other three as well. Okay, so we've added the splitters to the machines. So we'll have the coal coming round. Next, we actually need to make... What's this line here? What's this? What are you? Is that a foundation or something? Ah, oh, it's you. Interesting. Well, anyway, we need to put a tractor down. We need to... Oh, it's got headlights now. I forgot about this. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Okay, so let's put some coal in there. And then let's head around here. I've not played around with tractors in update 5. So, this one is going to go to uh, normal. So, we're going to set this up here. And then we're going to hit V. And then, whoa, why is it cancel? Right, okay. Start recording now. So, we're recording. I'm going to wait 20 seconds. And then we'll got to do a left here. I just had a bit of an auto save as well. And we'll turn out of here. And then we want to head right along this road. Oh, the tractors still have issues. You see how they're bouncing on the foundations? Oh, that still happens. But yeah, what we need to do is we need to do the next left. So it needs to turn left here. Whoa, that was that was quick. And then to collect its cargo here. Now that's done, we'll just set off again. And then we take the right-hand side road. And then all we need to do now is we don't need to stop it. We just need to go to where we actually started. So we just need to go back to the coal plant. Okay, so now I should just go in here and it should stop the recording for me. There we go. You can now save. So what we can do now is we're going to save this... Oh. I forgot about the horn. We're going to save this path. And we're going to do this to coal. 
one, to um, call for normal. And then we're going to save that. So then if I go into here, I want to hide the nodes and then enable autopilot. And then he's going to do his thing. I've got to make sure this is set to unload. So now I just want to see if the boy can do it himself. Can I? Oh, he actually ran me over. Are you serious? Now he should go in there. And grab the supplies. Oh, he already is. Nice. He's coming at a bit of an angle, though. Is he going to turn fine? I suppose we do have nanobots now. So what I mean by the nanobots is basically when a vehicle gets stuck. If it gets stuck for so long. What was you? <laughs> well, he found his way out. But if he didn't, re if he didn't find his way out from there, um, the nanobots will come in, and he would be able to, he will, he will teleport himself back to the roots, which is pretty cool. And then we should have now coal coming out, perfect. And he should refuel here now as well. I don't think he's gonna have enough fuel actually. How much fuel have you got, buddy? He's got sixty. Okay, he's got enough. But when he comes back round, he should fuel up to see what he needs. So, because it's not it's not determined here, as you can see now, it says zero per minute. So once this, uh, when he comes when he when he comes back round, we'll then be able to see, you know, how much fuel he's consuming per minute. And there we have it. All three vehicles are now operational. We have the two going to the normal, and then we have one going to the pure as well. So we can see the first one going in. The second one has just exited the base of the steel, and then we have the third one now approaching. To drop off the pure call node but i do need to name them so what i want you guys to do is i want you to go into the comments and give me a name you would like me to name your um uh, your tractor so it could be named after you it could be just a made-up name and i will go through the comments over the next week and i will choose some but the deadline will be next saturday and guys we're going to be calling this episode right here it is the shortest one so far but the jam-packed stuff that we put into this one which was the the whole bridge itself which consumed a lot of my time and then also we upgraded the coal plant as well but thank you for all the, the love and support that you've been showing. Um, it does mean a lot. I've been reading the really nice comments. The, the just, just the, the support, the the new subscribers that are coming, the people that are coming from YouTube over to my Twitch channel to say hello and how much you've been enjoying the content and the series. I am going to be bringing a lot more to you. So expect some guides, expect some tips and tricks, expect the more of the Let's Play series, and just expect a lot more satisfactory content. So without further ado. Thank you so much for watching and all these names that you can see appearing on screen as well. I've supported the channel via the join button just next to the subscription button. It does support me financially. So thank you for all the new members joining the Melon House. It does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next video and keep smiling.